video on how to make the walleye after cleaning it. So here we got, if you want to zoom in on this, we have a, a uh, dish with the walleye fillets in it. And the first thing I'm going to do, now this is, uh, came out of the freezer. And so what I like to do is put a handful of salt in it for just a few minutes. Handful of salt, just sprinkle it in there, and start uh, swishing it around till the salt dissolves. Some people would put milk in it to uh, take away any of the freezer taste, but I haven't noticed it has a freezer taste. But this kind of leaches out any leftover blood. The blood in the walleye is what makes it fishy tasting. If you watch my video on rumble, you'll see that I bleed my walleye before I clean them and I put them back in the live well. They swim around until they bleed out. And uh, when I get to the fish cleaning station, they pretty much bled out. And when I'm cleaning the fish, there really isn't hardly any blood, which is really good. And then I'm going to rinse them in cold water. I give it three rinses. I like to cut my walleye up into uh, smaller pieces as, and even the uh, tenderloin, which is the, on a cow would be the back strap, I usually uh, cut those in half. They'll be like that and I cut them in half. You don't have to, it's just whatever your preference is. So that's one. I don't leave it set in the salt water very long, as you saw. Don't want it to get salty tasting. But it really does leach out a lot of uh, whatever is left of the blood and stuff. You want to drain it really, really well for the next step. Now I'm just going to put it here like this so all the water will collect in the corner while I come over and grab a couple of other things. You want to pause that? Okay, I'm draining, you really want to drain it well, and it takes a while to do this. I got it uh, positioned like that, and there's still a bunch of water collecting down there in the corner. So you'll see why in just a moment. And that's probably good. I did that like three times. Now I'm gonna put this in a bowl, and put all the fillets in a bowl. And I'm going to take some ranch dressing and slather it over the fillets. And you can use any ranch dressing, it doesn't really matter the brand. These are the cheeks.
Now this is going to provide a medium for the cornmeal based breading. This is what I like to use. You can get this at uh, Cabela's for five or six dollars a package or you can get it at Walmart for about two dollars between two and three dollars. I think I'll know what you're going to do. All right. Okay, now we have our fillets slathered in ranch dressing. So, dump the shore lunch cornmeal recipe in here, and we will bread these fillets. These are the walleye cheeks. A lot of people just throw them away, but they're pretty good, good to eat. They're actually one of the best parts of the walleye. Tasty, tasty little morsels. And there we have a plate of walleye fillets that are all breaded up. Now, very important, let me rinse my fingers. Very important that you put it in the refrigerator for at least three hours. If you don't, when you put it in the uh, deep fry, all that breading will just come off. But if you put it in the fridge for three hours, then it will uh, gel onto the fillets and they'll come out fantastic. Thank you for watching my video.